Hey, this is Russ. You know, many of us resort to using a recliner chair because we can't sleep. I know I did. Did you? <laughs> Patient 9M from Pennsylvania, who we just had a report on just this past week, gave me an update regarding recliner chairs. Okay, I'm going to read you his letter to me. All right. He says, I had my last PT session tonight. I got talking to my PT guy during the PT session about knee replacement patients sleeping on a recliner. I think maybe he picked up on this uh, because I mentioned that and I wasn't really sure why that was the case that you know many of the doctors and things didn't like us being on recliner chairs. So anyways, he says he does not recommend a recliner for knee replacement patients. However, if a patient insists on sleeping on a recliner, he is happy to pay a home visit to show the patient how best to sleep on a recliner and how best to support the knee on a recliner. He basically has the patient put pillows under their foot to make sure that the knee is straight when they are on the recliner, not to have the knee slightly bent, okay? My knee surgeon also told me not to sleep on a recliner. His nurse practitioners and nurses during my post-op surgery also said not to sleep on a recliner. They also said not to sleep with pillows under my knee. Now, I do know that. <laughs> I know that the doctors told me too, don't put a pillow under your knee, put it underneath your foot, okay? Because you want to have good extension, right? You don't want to support just the knee part like that, all right? Supposedly, they are beginning to do some early research on knee replacement patients comparing those that sleep on a recliner and those that don't. What they are finding is that those that sleep on a recliner have pressure from the recliner on their calf and hamstring muscles, which can cause the blood to pool in the knee. In addition, the knee is going through the healing process in a slightly bent state all of which causes it to kind of freeze in that slightly bent state. They are finding that the folks that sleep on a recliner have less range of motion and take longer to recover. They are finding the same for patients that sleep with a pillow under their knee. Obviously, I'm not a doctor, and however, I have not used the recliner or have slept with a pillow under my knee. My PT guy has been amazed with my progress considering I am not only... Uh, I not only had a full replacement, but also a large bone graft in the upper part of my tibia due to the cyst removal. He said that I am his only full knee replacement patient that he has had to tell to slow down and take it easy. He said that he can tell the difference between the full replacement patients that use a recliner and those that don't. So he has done very well, and apparently his recovery is doing so good <laughs> that uh, the uh, the people are saying you're 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 moving too quickly, <laughs> All right? Uh, good for him. But many of us obviously are suffering through it now. I know for myself, I did sleep on the recliner for probably three to four months. Yeah, it was a long time. So it makes you wonder: is this the reason why uh, my extension isn't so good? Now, that's a possibility, but I do know that uh, laying down in bed uh, trying to fall asleep, uh, I could not feel comfortable at all laying flat on my back. It just wasn't going to happen. So uh, so often we resort to other measures, and the recliner was really the best way for me to even catch some sleep. All right, So there's got to be a better way, I think, uh, to handle this. Um, I mean, the recliner is not fully, you know, you're not fully flat. You're kind of tilted up slightly on the back still, right? So maybe maybe even if you were in bed, if, if you were tilted up, I don't know if that would help a little bit or not. I mean, I know that they make uh, beds that, you know, the, the back end of the bed kind of tilts upwards. <laughs> uh, would that help? I, I don't know. But I, I do know that, you know, the bed is not actually an option for those who can't sleep. So they've got to find a better way for recliners. <laughs> Anyways, if uh, if you slept on a recliner uh, during the, at least the beginning stages of your knee replacement, put a comment below so we know that you know we're not uh, at least I'm not the only one that's doing it. I know there's a lot of people that sleep on recliners, um, and and that really was the only thing that I felt comfortable in. Now, if I had another knee replacement done on my right knee, I have to seriously consider should I go on that recliner or not because I don't want to go through what I'm going through with this left knee with my right knee, right? And if the recliner is the thing that's holding us back, um, I, I think I would have to try to figure out not to sleep on that thing. <laughs> so 
I can only imagine how bad that's going to be when that time comes. Let me let me say one more thing. <laughs> There's always one more thing that pops into my brain. I have noticed, and I made a video about this, about our messages disappearing, okay? And I had confirmation from one of the um, subscribers that he left me a message. Now, uh, I was able to see it this time, and I was typing my answer into um, my computer to answer his response, uh, to respond to his his question uh, or comment, and then I hit send, and nothing happened. It just went in spinning circles. So uh, I did a refresh, and then there again, the message was gone. Now, most of these messages are gone before I even get a chance to try to reply, all right? They're kind of grayed out on my on my phone, but this time I was on the computer and I actually typed the entire response back to him, and then I just saw it gone. And then he confirmed to me that he did send me a message. All right, so we know that he didn't delete the message, but something is deleting our messages. So if you uh, have a message to me and you're not really sure if that's going to delete accidentally or not, you might want to do a copy of that message first, holding it in place and then even email it to me too if you want all right now i know some people don't want to send their email addresses to me but come on i'm a nice guy all right i'm not gonna use your email address for anything so uh if you want to make sure i get it um put the comment in the comment section but also email it to me maybe that's that's an option uh, to guarantee that the messages get to me if it's important to you, okay? And again, my email address is contactrussesright at gmail.com, okay? That's all one word. The word contactrussesright is all one long word, <laughs> all right? And uh, that way, we'll know that it'll get to me. But uh, yeah, we've been losing messages and comments on the YouTube thing. I don't know why that is. Believe me, it's not me deleting it, all right? I try my best to, to respond to everybody, so... If you don't hear from me, it's probably gone. It's a possibility that I never even saw it. Okay? All right, anyways, I'll talk to you guys next time.